Hi, I'm Charlotte Rowe. I'm a, uh, an artist and an events programmer based in Huddersfield. I'm interested in a lot of different things. Um, I suppose like I don't like to see the distinction between between fine art and applied art and lowbrow and highbrow and things like that. Um, so, you know, sometimes I draw comics and sometimes I make conceptual sculptures. Um, but if there's one thing that ties it all together, it's probably uh, an interest in in technology and and material culture um, and and hu how humans interact with objects. When it came to, to coming up with a project to do with HCMF, um, I, I really wanted to, to embrace the opportunity to do something that, that was experimental and conceptual because it had been quite a while since I've had a chance. Um, and also just because I'd been going to so many like sound-based events, I really wanted to do something with sound as well. Uh, so for, for my HCMF project, I'm I'm building sculptures um, around the idea of, of tactility and, and, and holding them and, and manipulating them. You know, initially, I was thinking more along the lines of, of, a, of a real physical installation and, and perhaps a performance, but uh, because of the lockdown I've, um, I've come up with this kind of digital interface for it. So I'm, I'm coding a website wherein people can, can play with avatars of the objects to create sound comp compositions. At the beginning of the project, I, I was working. Um, I, I was working in Dewsbury, and I was I was booking events for two two venues there. Because I was working as as an events manager, and I was mainly booking live music. I just saw it as a kind of a, a practical way of getting some hard skills in that in that um, arena. But um, the when I when I actually began to engage with what HCMF actually do, I started to realise that it was much more connected to my kind of, my background in art than I thought it was. Um, and so that at that point I got really excited about the idea of, of, of um, connecting these two aspects of my life, that I was working in live music, but I'd, I'd been to art school and I was still really interested in, in curation and things like that. Um, so I saw it as a, as a nice link